Tinker Tell jokes were born in Brooklyn. Jimmy Durante. were born in Brooklyn. George and Ira Gershwin. Those wild and beautiful plums were born in Brooklyn. Expense and such, Except such care to there's do this one little work. mistake. What? I'm not from Brooklyn. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I, I'm from England, as you can tell from my accent. <laughs> nothing. Years of money spent for nothing. No, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, but I haven't been back there for a long time. When I left, I left as a little ugly, flat chested little girl, and here I am, voila, today. <laughs> An ugly, flat chested little woman. But, uh, <laughs> May I throw in my monologue for a second? Can I show you something? Because I was talking a little to the audience before. I am not flat chested tonight. I usually am flat chested, but I bought a brassiere today that is so. No, 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 no. Okay. Would you mind, Carolyn? Wait. Voila! Let me tell you, which is <laughs> no, which is very good because if I fall down, bounce right back up. And um, <laughs> it is called for any of you out there that are flat chested, and there are many of you. <laughs> and now let's look at the women. The women remember those jokes. But um, for any of you that are flat chested out there, this is called the push up, shove over bra. It, <laughs> no, it, it pushes from here everything. They just push, 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 push. All the skin has just been moved. That my belly button is right here going. Right. And, um, but it makes. Let me tell. It makes me feel great because um. How many of you know what I'm telling you, but you like to be curvy, you know what I'm telling you? M my wedding night was a disaster because I have zero, zero. Um, <laughs> my husband said, let me help you with the buttons, and I said... <laughs> I said I'm naked! <laughs> it's funny to you, high school kids. <laughs> You don't know, but I was 28 before I got married and desperate. I mean, I was, I was, I was such a dog. To get me down the aisle, they threw a bone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I got married, thank goodness, I always knock on wood, my mother thrilled. She wore a cheerleading outfit. I mean, just standing there going, hooray for June. And my mother-in-law, Edgar's mother, not so thrilled. Never said anything, my mother-in-law, lovely lady, but she wouldn't buy a new dress for the wedding. Does that tell you? Showed up in a half slip and a bra. And, uh, <laughs> I knew she didn't like me when they wheeled in the wedding cake and she bit the head off the bride. But, uh, <laughs> but otherwise, the marriage is great. It's not like it was in the beginning, because like, like you're married, right? How long are you married? 20. 20 years. You look very good, 20 years. <laughs> oh. Did you fix it? <laughs> oh, this is California, grow up. They pull and they snip, you know that. But uh, no, but things changed. Hasn't it changed after 20 years? Uh, what's your name? 
artists in the beginning, wasn't it better? The little nightgown and the games? Remember? <laughs> oh, you remember? Yes! Catch me, catch me! Remember the games? I'm married nine years. We still play catch me, catch me, but we walk, you know. It's catch me. Can I catch you tomorrow? Sure. Tomorrow's even better. I'll know in advance. I'll take a bath. What the heck? Oh. No, because I'm, I'm letting myself go a little bit. You know why? Because I'm a first wife. First wives let themselves... Are, are you first wife or second wife, Artis? First. They're, they're, no, 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 no. First wives, we were never told what counts. We were never told that men care about looks. We were told men care that you keep the house clean, which is junk. Am I right? Housework is stupid. You make the bed, you do the dishes. Six months later, you gotta start all over again. It's stu stupid. Second wives don't carry on. They don't dust. Once a month, they go, Pfft. I mean, the whole other... <laughs> A second wife, the husband wants a hot meal. She puts a little Ben Gay on the sandwich. I mean, it's a, it's a Here, I can tell. Put your rings out. I'll tell you who's the first wife, who's the second wife. First wife. Yes, first wife. No. Second wife. Right. Then you must be on welfare. <laughs> second. You animal. Where's the ring? <laughs> no. Because you know why? First wives, we don't ask. First wives, we were brought up to be polite. You get a lousy ring, you say thank you. Remember that? <laughs> thank you for the crummy ring. Thank you for the cloth coat. That's a first wife. Second wife, what's this? <laughs> what is it, a joke? What is it, tell the weather? Are you nuts? What is this? <laughs> and the men like them better. Look at the second wife over here, right? Look at this, the blondie here, cutesy cute. This is what they like. This is what they like. <laughs> Shallow. <laughs> Because you know why? Because first wives were too good. We worry the hair grows gray. Husband has a heart condition, we're upset. We pawn our rings to buy him a pacemaker. Anything, right? <laughs> Second wife, the husband's got a heart condition. She's walking behind him going, boo! <laughs> You know what? See, men, listen, you're high school kids out there, some of you. Men look for looks. Remember that. Don't waste your time learning to read a book. Now, a friend of mine just remarried a girl, gave her a big ring, and she is stupid. She's walking, but you know, she's walking around saying, God made me an animal. All I do is sleep and make love, and the men, bleh. I said to my husband, big deal, I do the same thing. He said, but she doesn't do it at the same time. <laughs> I get so oh, easy for you, you love me. What about my husband? The only reason I had the kid is because he tosses and turns in his sleep. I get...